and welcome back to Sarah's Joyful Journey. I am Sarah Joy. Today is another meal prep Monday video and I wanted to go ahead and get started pretty early. It's eight o'clock. I have lots of stuff to do, some of which I can't show you, but I will tell you minimally about it. So let's go over the list of stuff we've got to get done and then we'll get started. So this is my list of things that I would like to get done today. I do need to make a couple more creamies. I need to make some pizza crusts. We're going to be getting together and doing another pizza party soon. So I'm just trying to be prepared. I need to make some chorizo. This is gonna be our dinner and our lunches for the week. Um, so that'll help. And then I have two recipe tests and some butter mayo. As you will have seen on my list, there are two recipe tests. I am not going to be sharing these on this uh, episode of our meal prep Monday, but they are something that I will be doing today. So I wrote them down on my list, mostly to keep me in check. Um, I can tell you tiny bits of information about them. I can let you know that they're going to be coming in the next few weeks, provided that the tests actually work well. One is going to be a savory dish and the other is going to be a sweet dish. And that's all I'm going to let you know for now. So I'm going to get started by making some breakfast, which I might as well just show you making me breakfast. And then we're gonna get started with our meal prep. For my breakfast today, I'm gonna to go ahead and make my protein power bowls. I haven't had one of these in a Oh, it's been over a week. So I'm super excited to have that. Um, I've shown them on this channel before. If you would like a standalone recipe of this video of it and a recipe card, please let me know down below. I'd be glad to do that for you. Um, but let me get started on making my breakfast because I'm pretty hungry. my breakfast I'm gonna to top it with some chili lime Cholula this time I added cheese this is the first time I've ever added cheese to it so I'm excited and then I have this peach Bellini or this Bellini bliss as it's called um, bubbly it's really good it's peach pineapple and mango flavors so I am enjoying that one I'm gonna to have to get that one again all right, so I added one more thing to my list and it's gonna be the first thing that I make. We're gonna make some chicken salad. We bought rotisserie chickens the other day. Matt didn't eat all of his, so I'm gonna turn it into a chicken salad that we can eat for the next couple of days. And then I'm going to try to see how much of this list I can actually get done. While I was cooking breakfast, I was starting to have more problems with my wrist. I can see a little bit of swelling in through here and up towards my thumb. Um, so I'm just a little uncomfortable and I kept dropping things. The arm is feeling better, but I don't know if what they've told me is actually the correct diagnosis or the correct issue. All I know is that it's really been bothering me. Um, so we'll see. I have all my strength, so it's not a loss of strength issue, which I think baffles them because they're like, how can you be dropping things and having issues with things when you have all your strength? And it's not like a strength issue. It's more of like, a motor issue, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it, but I, you might see it in the clip. I was scooping bacon into the bowl and just dropped bacon all over the floor. Um, I don't know. The spoon just didn't move the way that I was intending it to move. So we'll see how much of this I can actually get done today. I do need to get it, most of it done. So I'm just going to give it a good old try and we're going to get done what my body lets me get done. So let's get started on chicken salad. I got all the chicken deboned. I'm going to, normally I chop it, but I'm just gonna kind of do the lazy way. 
and just take my kitchen chairs to it. These have been washed previously, so they are clean and ready to go. Yes, I know it looks weird to do two hands on a pair of scissors, but right now my thumb is killing me, so I can't use it the way that I want to. So I'm just using the tools in the best way that I can. I'm gonna go ahead and season this with some onion powder, some garlic salt, and some pepper. Put in a couple big spoons of butter mayo. And then I'm just gonna mix it together. So, so far I've gotten chicken salad off my list. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to do um, some creamies. I'm gonna make butter mayo, but I decided to double it just a moment ago. So I had to let more eggs come to room temperature. So I'm gonna make fruity cereal. My friend Hope and Andy say that this makes the best creamies and I've never had it as a creamy. I've only ever had it in my fruity doodle cookies. I only have a couple packages of this left, so I'm gonna have to order some more keto chow soon. If you're interested in this, um, it is a limited edition flavor. This is not a sponsored video. I don't have a link or anything like that. I just love keto chow and I use it regularly in my health journey. So let's get started making some creamies. All right, I've had a bit of a rest before I made these creamies. I needed that. My arm is feeling a little bit better. So we're gonna just go ahead and I just put two cups of water and a whole stick of butter in here. And that's to make two packages of fruity cereal as creamies. So I'm gonna melt this and then we'll come back and I'll finish the rest of it. All right, so my butter and my first batch of water is ready. So I'm gonna add more water. And then I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of tarragum, because this just helps with the iciness. I use an eighth teaspoon per serving, and since I'm used, making two servings right here, that's gonna go in. And then we're gonna open up our fruity cereal. And I really wanna make cookies, but it's gonna have to wait. Just because I'm already going to attempt to make a sweet recipe this week, I need to keep my sweets treats down to a minimum because if I eat them too regularly, they definitely stall my weight loss. And I have been a peanut butter goblin lately and I need to get the peanut butter like back out, but it's just so tasty. And Ghost is uh, knocking things over. If you heard a loud boom, he just bumped into the loom. All right, let's get this blended. Okay, reality check. I'm really struggling today. It's one o'clock. I just, my heart isn't in everything that I need to meal prep. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to finish meal prepping. I am going to do some things, but I'm gonna cut some things off my list. 
One thing that's getting caught off my list is I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to cross off the pizza crusts because I don't need them for a couple weeks. So I've got time to get them done and it's just, I need to take some downtime today for me as well and to rest. So the only things that I'm going to finish doing is I'm gonna finish making butter mayo, which we're gonna do next. I'm gonna do a double batch. And then I am going to work on one of my test recipes today. I'm going to do another test recipe tomorrow. Um, I'm also probably going to cross chorizo off my list um, <clears throat> because I can cook that tomorrow and my arm is just really bothering me. So I need to put myself into check and have reality for what I am capable of doing today. So whenever you do meal planning like this, it's great to have a list, but just know that it's not a hard, hard stop list. You do not have to complete it all. Anything that I get cut on this list only helps me later in the week or in future days and weeks. Um, so I'm still getting an amazing amount of stuff done. I've got creamies done, I've got chicken salad done, I'm getting butter mayo done, which we go through that a lot in this house. Um, and then I get to do something and have fun for me, which is play around with one of my test recipes that I want to do. You won't see the test recipe, but as soon as we are done with butter mayo, I will go ahead and I will wrap up this video because that's all I'm capable of doing today. And that is perfectly fine. We all have good days. We all have tough days. We all have bad days. And today is just a day where I really feel like I need to rest. And I know that it's a lot to do with my arm, but mostly it's because I have been spending eight hours a day out in the sun without air conditioning. And it has physically drained me. I fell asleep last night super early because I just had no energy. Um, so I'm working on hydration and electrolytes today and I'm feeling better, but I'm also feeling like I need some downtime. So we're just gonna take it because I am responsible for me and I'm the only one who can put me first. So I'm going to do that. Let's get butter mayo going and call it a good successful meal prep Monday. I have all my ingredients ready for butter mayo. If you want my recipe, it is a uh, recipe card is located in our Facebook group, or you can send me an email down below and I will send you a copy of the recipe card. And there is a video on how I make my butter mayo step by step. If you are interested in that, I'll make sure that that is also linked down below. So I'm gonna put this into high speed mode and we're just gonna get butter mayo done. finally going to go ahead and close out this video. I did not do the chorizo and I did not do the pizza crust. However, I got to both test recipes that I wanted to work on today. Halfway done with one of them. Um, it's cooling and then I've got to make um, an icing to go on it for my sweet one. But it was a successful day, I think, of meal prepping. I don't know if there's going to be a meal prep video next week. Um, I'll figure that out as it gets closer and I'll let you guys know. I do have to work next week and I have an 8.30 to 5 shift. I'm normally off on Mondays, but they scheduled me. I asked for a Saturday off and they made me work on Monday. It's, it's weird. I don't know why they did it, but they did it and I can't change it. So there may or may not be a video on Monday or a meal prep video. I have a plan for a video that I can release on Monday. So you guys will still have a video on Monday. It just probably won't be meal prepping, but we'll see how it goes and this week goes. If you like content like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification. I do five videos a week and I hope that you have a wonderful and joyful day. We'll chat again soon. Bye for now.